answered the question doesn't the Bible say that the Holy Ghost won't speak of himself or won't speak on his own authority Well, I'm glad you could join us today, and I've been uh, on these midweek webcasts, I've been answering questions that I get, and one of the most frequently asked questions, this is one thing that you're, you're going to ask yourself and other people uh, may ask you when you start to worship the Holy Ghost and you talk about the Holy Ghost a lot, they will ask you, doesn't the Bible say that the Holy Spirit won't talk about himself? You know, and you go, well... <laughs> Is that really even a question it sounds more like an you know uh, an accusation or something but uh, they're they're basically saying you know the Bible I thought said the Bible the Bible said that the Holy Ghost won't even talk about himself like somehow he just doesn't you know he's he just kind of removes himself from the equation and he wants to always just glorify Jesus well he does glorify Jesus and we'll get into that in a little bit but the fact is that they're misinterpreting that scripture to mean something that it really it's not trying to say and let's just go there and look at it doesn't the Bible say that the Holy Spirit won't speak about himself so let's go look at that John 16 and verse 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all the truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come how be it when he so we're talking about a person this is the person that Jesus said he was going to send this is the another when Jesus will depart he will send the another and when he the spirit of truth is come so he has a name what's his name his name is the spirit of truth now if you know anything about names the name means that that's what he does that's who he is or not just naming him something just for the sake of giving him a name like Bob or George or something no he is the spirit of truth that's his name he a person is the spirit of truth when he is come he who he the spirit of truth he will guide you into all the truth now why would the spirit of truth which is his name guide you into all the truth because that's who he is he is the truth therefore he really can't guide you into falsehood he guides you into all truth he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak he will show you things to come so right here if we just follow the line of progression it can't possibly mean that he's not gonna speak about himself or he's not gonna speak even though it says right here it says he shall not speak of himself I, I submit to you that this is a terrible translation this is was completely botched by the translators and not only in the King James but in every almost every translation and every translation I could find they, they just completely botched it well you got a better translation I'll tell you when you when you look at what the words are specifically saying is that he can't speak away from himself now why they why they said of himself is is borderline ridiculous if you even look it up in the strongs the the strongest meaning of that is off so they left they left one little f there it doesn't mean he won't speak of himself as in i'm not going to talk about myself which is what everybody thinks but he's not going to talk about himself no he's not going to speak off of himself meaning he is the spirit of truth he won't speak off the truth meaning he will only speak the truth that would be the best way and I hope you're listening to me the best way to translate that would be how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into the, all the truth because he cannot speak off the truth he can't speak away from the truth he will lead you into all the truth because he can't speak anything but the truth that makes sense not he won't he won't speak of himself because what the problem with this is is people will take this verse of scripture <clears throat> and then they'll start interpreting all the other verses of scripture that they probably don't even look at and and they think okay well that means the Holy Ghost isn't gonna speak about himself they're applying some characteristic to the person of the Holy Ghost that that he doesn't even have 
they're kind of subjugating him to to a third person of the trinity that has nothing to do with anything and that becomes a real problem when you realize we're in the dispensation of the holy ghost and he's the one with whom we have to do and he's the number one person he's the only god in the earth today that we that we walk with and talk with and have anything to do with it would be a real problem if he didn't speak about himself or he doesn't talk or do anything like that let's look further into this it can't possibly mean that it literally means speaking off the truth so he's going to speak but he's not going to speak off the truth he can only speak the truth something we would say if somebody speaks off the truth let's say they're in court that would be perjuring themselves you understand to perjure yourself would be called a verbal crime you think the Holy Ghost is gonna speak a verbal crime it would be a crime for the Holy Ghost remember he God is not a man that he should lie so we have plenty of scriptures that back up what I'm saying to you and zero scriptures that say that the Holy Ghost won't talk about himself which is what I'm gonna show you in just a few seconds here he won't perjure himself as a verbal crime or swear falsely can you even imagine the Holy Ghost swearing falsely no it, or lying under oath or bearing false witness no he's gonna witness to all the things of God because he is God you know I can find scriptures where the Holy Ghost is talking about himself then that scripture that says he won't speak of himself couldn't possibly be true right because one scripture would be uh, going against another scripture well if there's only one verse of scripture saying he won't speak of himself he's not gonna say anything he won't talk about himself but we have all these other verses of scripture that say here's the Holy Ghost saying this the Holy Ghost is talking about himself then one of them has to be wrong I'm telling you that, that that scripture is wrong it was a botched interpretation and and it gets worse believe me I'm gonna show you a couple other interpretations here that, that make even less sense than that one does second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any, any private interpretation for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so you had the scriptures were written by men who were moved by the Holy Ghost so they were inspired by the Holy Ghost they were saying what the Holy Ghost was saying and it says it was wasn't by the will of men it was by the will of the Holy Ghost so these men were writing what the Holy Ghost wanted them to write so the Holy Ghost was speaking through these men every verse every verse of scripture that talks about the Spirit of God is the Holy Ghost talking about himself because the men were inspired and moved by the Holy Ghost to say these things therefore when the scripture says anything anything about the Holy Ghost it's the Holy Ghost talking about himself so when I read something about the Holy Ghost did this or the Holy Ghost says that or the Holy Ghost is going to do this what is the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is talking about himself and we have hundreds of scriptures of the Holy Ghost talking about himself which means that that verse of scripture where people wrongly interpret it to say that the Holy Ghost doesn't talk about himself that is a wrong interpretation interpretation the Holy Ghost not only does he talk about himself but he's talking the truth well let's just look at a couple of these let's see if we can find some scriptures scriptures that the Holy that talk about the Holy Ghost is literally according to the Bible the Holy Ghost talking about himself John chapter 7 verse 37 and in the last day the great day of the feast Jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink he that believes on me as the scriptures have said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water verse 39 but this spake he of the spirit which they that believe on him should receive for the Holy Ghost was not yet get, given because Jesus was not yet glorified what is this verse of Scripture talking about who who's the main thrust of this scripture is talking about the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet glorified it is about the Spirit of God so here we have a scripture Jesus was being led by the Spirit 
<coughs> to speak about the Spirit of God then holy men of old wrote about this instance about Jesus speaking about the Spirit of God this is the Holy Ghost talking about himself Luke chapter 4 and verse 14 and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit huh well right there somebody saying that Jesus returned in the power of Jesus no Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit holy men of old wrote this so this is the Holy Ghost talking about Jesus returning in the Holy Ghost's power the Holy Ghost talking about himself again my goodness the more you look at it, it looks like the Holy Ghost likes to talk about himself which is the complete opposite of what that one verse that religious people like to use which is taken totally out of context with the rest of the Bible and is a botched translation that says the Holy Ghost won't speak of himself that's complete goofiness in light of all the other scriptures we have let's read down to verse 18 and the Spirit of the Lord he said the Spirit of the Lord is upon me who said this Jesus said this what was Jesus saying he was saying the Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal so Jesus's message was about the Holy Ghost the Spirit of the Lord being on him it really wasn't about Jesus it was about that Jesus was anointed by the Spirit of God because up to this point Jesus wasn't anointed by the Spirit of God are you getting this and so what is this about this is about the Spirit of the Lord anointing someone to do something where's the emphasis on the Spirit of the Lord again the Spirit of the Lord talking about himself every verse of Scripture that talks about the Spirit of God is the Holy Ghost talking about himself which makes that interpretation that the Holy Ghost never talks about himself or he won't say anything about himself it makes it ridiculous another popular translation let's go look back we'll be we'll read uh, John chapter 16 again John chapter 16 and verse 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will not he will guide you into all the truth for he shall not speak of himself another very popular can look at look it up maybe your Bible even says it it says he will not speak of his own authority over and over I mean, I mean I look this up I'm, I, I grab my head and I say what you've got to be kidding me the Spirit of God the Living God he is the Living God he's God in the earth today but when he comes he won't speak of his own authority that is such complete goofiness and it has nothing to do with the rest of the Bible where do these people come up with this stuff you should take their translator license away from them just for this one verse of scripture now I, I don't think this was just an accident I really think that this was part of what the de think about the devil right if he could do one thing to mess up people in the last days it would be to get them to think that the Holy Ghost isn't gonna say anything and he won't speak of his own authority even though he's God in the earth today when that was the whole plan that was Jesus's plan to come and make a place so and send the Holy Ghost to be God in the earth today and if I can mess that up by one verse of Scripture and I'm the devil well isn't that great isn't it interesting that in this age and dispensation of the Holy Ghost where Holy Ghost only he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today that the devil would propagate a lie based on a bad interpretation of scripture that he won't speak on his own or he won't speak of his own authority so God's gonna come into the earth this is the culmination of God's plan and he's gonna come into the earth but people know he's not gonna speak on his own authority we got to somehow suppress him not let him do what he wants to do it's just complete complete utter goofiness let's look at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 now concerning spiritual gifts brethren I would not have you ignorant where is this written is this in the Bible yes this is in the Bible is the Bible written by people being inspired by the Holy Ghost yes so this is the Holy Ghost again talking about himself saying I don't want you ignorant about me the Holy Ghost get it don't be ignorant about me the Holy Ghost well, he's not speaking on his own authority he's God he speaks on his own authority that is a terrible test that's, that's even worse than saying he won't speak of himself 
I think he'd rather be a mute than God without any authority. Let's look down to verse 11. So he goes down and he's saying, I don't, I don't want you uh, ignorant of spiritual gifts. And he goes down and he lists all the gifts of the Spirit. Right? But, verse 11, but all these worketh that one in the self same Spirit. Huh. What? All of these gifts. He's talking about the gifts. Is the Holy Ghost talking about himself and his gifts? And he's saying, all of these are the what I'm working. I'm doing it. I'm the Spirit. I'm in the earth. Where are the gifts of the Spirit in operation? In the earth. He's the one doing it. Now let's keep looking here. Uh, all these worketh that one in the self same Spirit, dividing to every man severally as, as what? As he wills. As who wills? If he's willing how th that these things go about, then he's the one with the authority to have a will to do what he wills. Do you see that? So it, this is just one verse of scripture. I'm going to take you to others, but it's just this verse of scripture is either true or the other one isn't true. One of them's not true. Well, wait a minute. Let me let me rephrase that. They're both true, but the the translation and the interpretation of the other one that says that the Holy Ghost won't speak of His own authority, or won't speak on His own, or won't speak of Himself, is just goofiness and ridiculous based on the fact that the Holy Ghost is doing things as He wills. When somebody does something according to their will, they have authority to do what they want to do. Does that make sense? All right. Am I getting that across? I hope so. Let's go to Acts. I'm going to show you a few, a few instances here where the Holy Ghost is actually doing something according to His will because He has a will, He is a person, and He has a will, and He's doing things, which means He's doing them on His own authority. You know, and you've got you've to get over this hurdle because the whole, Jesus went into heaven and sat down at the right hand of the Father and sent the Holy Ghost into the earth to do His job. And His job came with a whole batch of authority. He's God. Well, you're saying he's going to do something that Jesus doesn't want? No, whatever the Holy Ghost does is exactly what Jesus wanted because Jesus sent the Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm trying to answer the question that, you know, doesn't the Bible say that the Holy Ghost won't speak of himself or won't speak on his own authority or won't talk about himself? Because that's one of the first things that the devil's going to bring up to you. See, no, the Holy Ghost, he doesn't talk about it. You can't worship the Holy Ghost. And to me, I immediately go, oh, so you're saying you can't worship God. You can't, you know, the whole, that God the Holy Ghost doesn't have authority in the earth today. And the God the Holy Ghost doesn't speak of himself. That's all just completely ridiculous in light of the rest of Scripture, which means that interpretation is completely wrong. What's the right interpretation? That the Holy Ghost won't speak away from the truth. He won't speak anything but the truth. Just like when you know when you're in court and you swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, that, so help me God. That's what he's saying. I can't speak anything but the truth because he is the spirit of truth. Let's look at Acts chapter 10, 19. While Peter thought on the vision, the Spirit said unto him. Who said unto him? The Spirit said unto him. So Peter's had a vision. He's thinking on the vision. And while Peter thought on the vision, the Spirit said unto him, Behold, three men seek thee. Arise, therefore, get thee down and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Who sent them? Who does it say sent them? The Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God sent them. Well, he can't send people if he doesn't have authority to do it. He can't speak to Peter and tell him where to go and what to do. Go down there. They're seeking you. I've sent them. Are you seeing this? Who did this? The Holy Ghost. Just trying to show you that the Holy Ghost does have authority in the earth. He's the one Jesus gave authority to to come into the earth and be God in the earth today. Uh, Acts chapter 13 and verse 2. And as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said. Who said? The Holy Ghost said. Well, if the Holy Ghost said something, that means he doesn't not say anything. He's saying something. And not only is he going to say something, he's going to say something that he wants done, which means he's saying things in his own authority. 
The Holy Ghost said, separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work wherein to I have called them. Who called Barnabas and Saul? The Holy Ghost called Barnabas and Saul. And when they had fasted and prayed, laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost has authority in the earth, in the church, to lead people and to send them out into ministry and to anoint them. Who's doing this? The Holy Ghost is doing this. He's speaking about himself. He has authority to get things done in the earth. Oh, I hope you're hearing this. Because he has authority. And when you acknowledge him, he will give you authority to do what you need to do in the earth. And the problem is we've had this goofy concept that has been limiting the Holy Ghost. Where he couldn't do what he needed to do. Because we weren't giving him authority. But as we do begin to give him authority, he'll be able to take the reins of our life and move us into the power of the Spirit where we need to be and live and glory be to God forever. All right. He, the Spirit of truth, the Holy Ghost, God in the earth today, is the authority in the earth. We're in his dispensation. We're in his age. We follow him it's all his gifts of the Spirit he leads us and guides us and empowers us he is the authority in the earth all right let's just look at maybe one or two more verses of Scripture I'll try to wrap this up I hope I answered the question doesn't the Bible say that the Holy Ghost won't speak of himself or won't speak on his own authority I hope I've answered that clear enough that of course he speaks about himself every verse of Scripture that talks about the Holy Ghost is him, him speaking of himself and yes he has a voice and he does it on his own will because he's the one with authority in the earth today uh, first Timothy I just want you to see uh, uh, maybe two more things and then, and then we'll end here first Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1 now the Spirit speaks what expressly when does the Spirit speak expressly right here in in 1st Timothy 4 not only is this written by holy men of old moved on by the Holy Ghost he's even saying now the Spirit speaks expressly right he goes on to tell you what the Spirit's speaking he doesn't talk of himself I don't know what Bible you're reading but he does talk about himself Revelation chapter 2 and verse 7 he that has an ear to hear let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches who's saying things to the church the Spirit is because he's God in the earth today let's look down at verse 11 he that has an ear to hear let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches look at verse 17 he that has an ear let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches who's saying to the churches the Spirit and he's doing it according to his will because he is God in the earth today